गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर नाइन्थ चैप्टर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज इंडेफिनेट इंटीग्रल वी आर स्टडीड अबाउट डिफ्रेंशिएशन ओके एंड वट एवर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन दिस चैप्टर दैट विल बी जस्ट ऑपोजिट टू आवर डिफ्रेंशिएशन ओके एक्चुअली इंटीग्रेशन इज जस्ट ऑपोजिट टू डिफ्रेंशिएशन ओके Now, if we have to define integration, then how will we define it? Okay, that if f is a function defined on an interval i, okay, like f is any function, like we say f is equal to x square minus 2x plus 4. and range is given to us that x lies between 2 to 3 okay it is means uh, we are given a function in this way okay and f is a function okay another function they have given us capital f is a function such that is a function such that f dash x is equal to f of x this dash means differentiation means we have we have done the differentiation of this function and then we have got our previous function okay it is our f of x okay for all x for all x belonging to 2 to 3 okay it is our What is this? It is our interval. Okay. Then f is said to be f is said to be anti-derivative. Okay. Derivative we have studied. Anti means opposite. Okay. So it is opposite of. derivative f is said to be anti derivative of small f okay don't confuse in capital and small f these are two different functions okay also we can replace this word anti derivative by integral okay right okay so sorry we cannot replace it that f of x okay f of x is called integral o small f okay just like we can take any example d by dx o x will be able to do what it will be when we are doing differentiation so it will be 2x okay then this x square is this x square is integral integral of 2x that means when we will take this d by dx another way then we will get integration we use this sign for integration this is for integration that means integration of 2x that will be what that will give us x square okay if we want to symbolize it similarly if i do d by dx of sin x that will be what cos x that means what sin x is integral of cos x okay so what do we get from here that integration of cos x will be given sin x 
okay it is symbol symbolic representation here if we talk about this question this sign x sin x is equal to capital x okay and this cos x cos x is our small x okay these are two different functions that we discussed earlier and if you want to symbolically represent them so what do we get we get that integration of f of x dx is equal to okay and if you want to read then how we will read it this this will be read as integral of f of x integral of f of x with respect to x we are use dx here so with respect to x if you use y then with respect to y so that means integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to this okay now the formula the formula that gives the anti derivatives anti derivatives is called is called what indefinite integral indefinite integral that is the name of our chapter okay of the function okay the function that is given to us we are talking about that and the process the process of evaluating evaluating means solving evaluating the integral okay means how we find the integral solve the, that integral about that formula is called integration okay it is very important chapter much more important than the differentiation okay differentiation is an easy chapter okay it is also easy but it requires much more practice than as compared to differentiation okay now indefinite integral what is, what is that we have discussed here so definition is given to us that let f of x be a function okay then the family of all anti derivatives is called the indefinite integral of f of x okay it is the same that we have discussed here okay we have seen now f if f of x is the primitive of f of small x okay now some rules are given to us given to us here that if f of x is primitive primitive means anti derivative anti derivative of small f of x that means that means what if integration of small f of x with respect to dx is equal to f of x okay that means i can write this in this form that d by dx of f of x is equal to f of x 
ओके इफ दिस इज ट्रू दिस इज ट्रू देन डी बाई डी एक्स ओ एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस सी मीन्स डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ दिस होल इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ एक्स ओके बिकॉज वी नो दैट डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट इज वट जीरो सो एट लास्ट वट विल गेट वी विल गेट डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स प्लस जीरो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू दैट मीन्स इट इज ट्रू ओके so that's why if we are given f of x dx that means this is our question given to us okay and if we have to find its result then how we will write we will write it as f of x plus c we have to use a constant of integration it is called constant of integration always while integrating okay so like if we we have to do integration of x f dx okay so its integration will be x square by 2 plus c now let me explain how integration of x is x square by 2 okay so first of all we will discuss taking it with with the help of differentiation okay now d by dx if you have to do the d by dx so x raised to power n plus 1 by n plus 1 will be we have to do its differentiation by differentiating it is our constant it will remain same the power of our variable comes in front that will be n plus 1 into x by n plus 1 okay or that means it will be raised to power n why it will be raised to power n because the power of our variable decreases by 1 so this will cancel this so we will get x raised to power n okay understood how it is so if we will do its reverse reverse means it is there d by dx of x raised to power n plus 1 by n plus 1 is equal to x raised to power n this we have found out so its reverse will be that integration of x raised to power n dx will be x raised to power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c okay now if we talk about x so what we have to do power of x is what here now if we talk about this particular case integration of x dx what is the power of x here that is 1 so first of all we will add 1 in it so that will be x raised to power 1 plus 1 and then we will add 1 in the power and divide it that means 1 plus 1 n plus c is there so it will be x square by 2 plus c okay it is the general this is the main basic rule about integration okay now on page number 3 of chapter 9 of your book a table is given okay which consists of formulas that you have to learn for sure okay it's your homework today that you have to learn those all formulas because this will help you forever in this chapter in next chapter for sure and in some part of chapter number 11 also okay means these formulas will be required in three consecutive chapters chapter 9 10 and 11 so it's your homework to 
वर्क इज लर्न ऑल द फॉर्मूला गिवन ऑन पेज थ्री ऑफ चैप्टर नाइन ओके एंड द रिमेनिंग बेसिक ओवर फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज विल सोल्विंग रीडिंग नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ओके थैंक यू